This video is perhaps the most important video of the unit in the sense that we'll be talking about how to use our calculator properly when entering numbers that involve scientific notation. So in the past you probably entered 5.3 times 10 to the third using a caret button. So this number here was probably entered like this into your calculator. Now, I don't want you to do that anymore. I actually want you to do something different. So type 5.3. Now, instead of doing this times 10 and then the caret, I want you to press second and E. So this E button is equal to times 10 and then to the something. And in this case, we want that something to be 3. So you notice that it's different, and there's certainly going to be a learning curve associated with this method. However, this method of using the E button is vastly superior to using carrots and parentheses. When we use carrots and parentheses, the calculator is unable to keep track of the order of operations. However, if we use this E button here, the order of operations is done for us. So let's do 5.3 times 10 to the third, times 6.02, times 10 to the 23rd. And let's type in this number using our E button. So here we go, 6.02. Now here's where the E button comes in. Press second, and then E, and then to the 23rd. So here's our answer. It would be 3.2 times 10 to the 27th. So we're going to have lots of practice using this E button. Once again, this is very important. I can't emphasize strongly enough how valuable it will be for you to spend the time to learn how to use this E button here. Please don't relapse into an old way of thinking and use carrots and parentheses. That is not helpful for you. Now is the time to learn how to use the E button.